Alright, Mark. Hi. Nice to meet you. And likewise, now you made this game. Eternal Pain. Eternal uh, Pain. I made this pain, uh, Eternal Pain for iOS, uh, for iPod, uh, iPhone, iPad. Uh, it's currently on the i and the uh, on the App Store. It's 100% uh, free. Or, uh, the easiest way to get to it is to search for Eternal Pain right. on, on the iTunes App Store. So what led to this uh, to the inception of creating a game with this type of theme? Yeah, this? it's kind of wacky. So uh, it was originally uh, I made a it's a flash experiment right. back in uni. Uh, we were told to experiment and. Um, <laughs> It, it, it kind of came out of nowhere, pretty much. It, it's, just, it's just from experimenting and trying different things right. that suddenly this this idea of jumping on a well, it's, it's kind of like a reverse pong in a sense. But the idea just came kind of just from messing around and trying stuff. And then uh, so I made that. It's a flash game. It was, it was years ago. And then later on, when I decided to make a, a, an iPhone game, I, right. I dug through all my random flash experiments and games and I thought that like, this this could work it, it, it was simple enough and you, I, could, I had an idea that it could work for an iPhone so I decided to uh, basically remake it for, for the game yeah. it's, it's brilliant like, it's also good like it doesn't um, it doesn't follow the mainstream I think you mentioned that earlier as well mm. it doesn't follow the mainstream way of um, you're the hero you're the you're, you're, you're the best things in sliced bread type thing you're the in this case you're the actual you're, you're, the, the, you're the victor you're, you're just nobody you're, you're a nobody pretty much yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah because uh, I think I've, play, I've played a lot of games and every time when there's like a prophecy or some guy saying you're the chosen one I always just like roll my eyes because that never happens in real life or, and you just I'm, I think I'm a bit over that that, that you are the chosen hero that you're destined to win if you're destined to win then then okay you have to play the game then you're gonna win you're, you have to try then the game's over but, but there's a lot of things the, the whole thing about um, empowering people in gaming I'd like to you know, try something else go somewhere else and play someone it's like the survival of horror stuff that people get their thrills when they're helpless right. I'm not really a huge fan because I'm not I'm a bit scared of that stuff but I like the idea where you don't play as some guy who's a mighty sword or giant gun that, that just runs in and doesn't doesn't value life in a sense that they're, that they're really powerful that they're really strong and that they just don't care they just go in and progress the game but if you're weak if you're vulnerable then if you then you that you'll value your own life you and then you kind of care for the character that you are or, or if it's representing you sort of thing i'm not saying that you've been to hell but like <laughs> but, 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 but like seeing this it's almost as if you've um, like you've added that realism to it yeah, I think. Like, like where yeah. in hell you're all equal, we're all people are screwed. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not exactly religious, and this is not a religious <laughs> statement or anything. Uh, it just happened that the idea of a demon torturing a guy worked well with the mechanics. So when I, first, when the, I did the first flash thing, it was just like a square and a rectangle, and, and the mechanic of it. And I thought, how could I add, you know, make graphics? So I wasn't gonna keep it as a circle smiley face on a, on a uh, rectangle square. And that idea just came up. Like, oh, it's, it's a demon, so you don't want to land on the ground, but then when you land on the platform, you jump back up again. And so it's constant, so it's eternal, so it's eternal pain. And it, it, just, it just grew, basically. It, oh, it's, it started yeah, from I, small ideas and just grew. I, I think it's brilliant, like the fact that you can, that you came up with that small idea to come up with something now on offer, and you said it's free as well. Yeah, it's and, 100% free. Yeah. And so the level progression, like how, many, how many levels would you, are we starting out with, and is there, an option to, to move on, like, like more levels in the future? Yes, yes, so uh, definitely you know? at the moment, uh, uh, the current version on the App Store has approximately 30 levels uh, with four demons, right. and my plan is to uh, hopefully on a monthly basis release uh, five new levels each month with a new demon each one, right. and I plan to add about uh, six to eight new demons, right. and then when that's done, the plan is that would be, that would be considered like enough content for the game and now I'll try to uh, port it over to Android. Right. For the last event, would you have Satan himself? No. <laughs> that's it, you can't get any more, I, 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 can't get any more deep, like you know, dirty than me. There's already like Satan in the demon and stuff. Uh, oh. I, I already know who the last one is, who the last thing is going to be. Right, okay. Uh, it's something to look forward to. Oh, it, it'll be yeah. interesting. That's brilliant. Anyway, anyway Mark, take care. Thank you. Thank brilliant you game. I, I, I wasn't that successful with it. <laughs> but because I had it on hard, it's, and then yeah, I had it on easy. It's, 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 not, it's not meant to be a. Uh, 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 but it's there, it's, there, it's there for a challenge, and we're there to help out the little guy out here. Yeah. So once again, thank you very much, and I hope thank this you. game gets, gets bigger and better. Thank you very much. Take care.